Hi, this is Ed Nichols, and I just wanted to touch base with you after our first day. And I want to say what a great day we had. Uh, I zoomed in uh, to uh, some elementary classes, uh, high school, biomedical class this morning. Uh, just so excited to see what our students and teachers are doing together. And I want to say thank you to all of our staff, our teachers, uh, our administrators, our IT staff, everybody across the district. Uh, our teachers have put in an incredible amount of time to learn new platforms and to be prepared for their students today. And uh, I also want to say thank you, Mom and Dad. Uh, I know that it took a lot on your part, and I do appreciate that. Um, but we've had a great day. Now, there have been a little uh, bumps in the road. You know, I always tell my daughter that you can have a speed bump in life or a wall, and I'll take a speed bump. And we've had a few speed bumps today, and uh, so we want to give you some update on some things that we think will help you the remainder of this week. And I'm going to tell you, by Monday, we are going to be sailing at high speed. But uh, Daniel Witt's going to be here in just a second, and he's going to share about 10 uh, items with you. They will really help you and your student as we go into school again tomorrow. So again, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for your encouragement. Uh, we've had a great day. It's going to be a great school year. And when we get back in the school face to face, this is just going to be another opportunity having this platform to help us help our students in the future. So thank you. All right. So we did it. We got through a single day of virtual learning. One of my favorite authors, Alvin Toffler, once said, change is not merely necessary to life, it is life. That quote has never been truer. I've witnessed nearly everything that happened today, and I know we've got a lot more work to do. But I gotta say, we really are off to a great start. So, let's look at some things we learned today that may help everyone out in the community. First, we need to talk about user accounts. We've made sure that somebody at every school has access to your usernames and passwords. However, some students who may have recently enrolled may not yet be in that list. We're working with the schools to make sure they have the most up-to-date list. But if your school contact doesn't see your username and password listed there, then they will need to reach out to people on our technology team to help you get taken care of. Remember that your username and password should be entered in all lowercase when logging into a Chromebook or another MCS device. For programs such as Clever or Schoology, you will need to add at madisoncity.k12.al.us to the end of your username to log in. That is your email address for Madison City Schools. Accounts are updated nightly. This means that if you've recently enrolled, it might take some time for your account to be updated in iNow and with Google. Also, if you've had a schedule change with your counselor or something, that should be reflected the next day. Speaking of Google, if you're presented the option of signing in with Google to anything for Madison City Schools, you should always use that option. WebEx is the one exception to Google Single Sign-On. When a student is joining a WebEx, just click on the link provided by your teacher. Then, you should have two boxes on the screen. Type in the student's name and email address in the box provided and click Join. Now we've had some questions about webcams, and we totally understand some of the concerns. Webcams are technically optional, but they're highly encouraged. We believe that seeing you whenever possible is important to the learning process. If for any reason you choose not to display your video, we just ask that you remain engaged. Use that chat feature in WebEx if needed. And especially use your voice for audio participation. The most important thing is staying engaged in the synchronous lesson. When more than one student is sharing a computer, say your home MacBook or a Windows device, please ensure that each student is logged in to Chrome globally and that you toggle users depending on who is doing the work at that time. You can have more than one account logged into Chrome, and you can also switch between those accounts. As a reminder, to log into the browser globally, you have to do it at the top right. There have been a few questions about privacy, and we want to cover those now. We do protect students' Google accounts through software such as Gaggle and Bark. These programs are very common, and they're automatically going to flag any personal safety issues found in all your Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, any other Google services like that. These pieces of software protect our students, but will not read your personal passwords or any data on your machine. If you have an MCS Chromebook, you do have additional protection by a product that we use called GoGuardian. Because these are school-owned devices, we use GoGuardian to filter the internet connection for that device only, even if it's on your home Wi-Fi, and of course to monitor your safety. Schoology. 
Schoology gets better every day as teachers and students collaborate together. We're refining how we sync data between Schoology and iNow to enhance your virtual experience and make sure that you have access to your correct content. Course changes can take about 24 hours to process in Schoology, but teachers can add students to the courses manually before the next sync cycle. We talked about that with them today. Once you're added, you'll be able to work as normal. Since we're on Schoology for a moment, let's talk about the fact that you may have courses in Schoology that you don't really need. That's because of this sync between Schoology and iNow, as we use iNow for lots of purposes, not just to take grades. I'm going to let my friend Noel Newquist, most of you know him as Mr. New, show you how to move the courses you use most to the top and push the ones you don't really need to the bottom. Hey, this is a quick tip on how to clean up your Schoology courses. Now, um, I'm Mr. New, the art teacher, and I'm just trying to help out the students and the parents who might be confused when they see like eight or 12 different courses when they log into Schoology. So this is what your Schoology account will look like as a student. You'll see there should be one that shows you like your teacher's name, your homeroom teacher's name, and then there's a bunch of these that say do not use. And way down at the bottom, there's one that says specials, and there's more that say do not use, there might even be some that say like uh, PE, this one says Spanish, but it says do not use, right? So I want to organize this so that this folder, this course for specials is up here at the top so I don't have to keep scrolling down every time I want to see it. It's really easy to do that. Click on courses up at the top. Then over at the right hand side above my head here where it says my courses, click that. This brings up a list like this that shows all of your courses. We're going to click reorder courses again right here above my head. Brings up this list in a different way and now when I'm on this list I can click one and drag it around. Once you've reorganized that you just click this X and then if you click on courses you'll see that's the first one is the homeroom course and then the second one is the specials course. Now, if we go back to that course dashboard on the, if you click the Madison City icon up here, it'll take you to your course dashboard. All the rest of these can be completely ignored. Now, attendance, real quick regarding attendance. Attendance is taken every day, like I said in my orientation video, but that may look different from day to day. If there's a synchronous learning opportunity, we hope you can connect in real time. But if you can't for any reason, just make sure to communicate with your teacher and watch that recording and complete the required assignments for that day. Your teacher will know if you haven't engaged or if you have engaged that day, and they'll make sure that you're marked present if you have. We hope that these video updates like this really are helpful for you. We won't be able to do one every day, but we'll do them when we really need to. We can't thank you enough for doing this thing with us. Tomorrow will be better than today, and Friday will be exponentially better. Hang in there, everybody, and don't get too frustrated. We have a really good team of people here helping to address all of your concerns and problems, but it will take some time to get through all of them. See you on the screen tomorrow.